I'm right outside. Here's the game plan. I'll go up to my place, grab my toolbox, and head on over to your place. I should be there in 15 minutes. Are you sure you don't need anything else? Okay. I'll see you soon, Joey. Hmm. Who is that? Well, aren't you a cutie? I'd recognize that juicy butt anywhere. It's that cutie from the clubhouse that gave me a talking to. I think it's time to smooth things over if I have any hopes of landing a date with them. <coughs> Hello again. What am I doing here? Well, I live here. What are you doing here? Oh yeah, they do live in the same building as me, don't they? Ah, uh, you came to drop something off to them? A book? You two lend each other's books? Oh, that's kind of adorable. I guess I wanted to say, I'm sorry for how we first met. I didn't exactly act like a gentleman. I promise I'll keep my growls of approval to myself in the future. Why don't we start over? Name's Milo. I'm the alpha of a local pack. I like to cook, go camping, and I regularly put my foot in my mouth when speaking to someone so attractive. Mm. God, that laugh. I can listen to it forever. What kind of book did you borrow? Murder Mystery. Nice. Were you able to figure out who did it before it was revealed? Not this time. Yeah, it is easier to figure it out in the movies than the book. After you? Which floor? Huh, same as mine. Okay. Listen, I was wondering if... Oh. It's okay, come here. It'll be over soon. Are you okay? Yeah, we're okay. Uh, the elevator is stuck. I'd felt a little too strong for a technical difficulty. No, no, it's okay. Hold on to me as long as you want. I'm just going to make a quick call, okay? I need to keep a level head. They're scared. And they need a calm person looking after them. I'll admit, it's very hard to keep my thoughts on the task at hand when they've pressed their entire body against me. They feel so soft. Their face is buried in my chest. In any other situation, this would be a dream come true. But they're scared. They need me. Hey, Joey. Yeah, I'm fine. Why? I figured as much. I'm fine, but I'm stuck in the apartment's elevator with someone. You know that, uh, sweet thing that was in the clubhouse. Oh, ha ha. Very funny. I need you to contact management to come get us, all right? No, if I die, you don't get my toolbox. Now stop being a tool and get over here. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I called you a sweet thing. Why? Because you are. Especially after you yelled at me. Damn, I thought I was gonna kiss you right then and there. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Look, so I got some news. What we felt was a mini earthquake. Nothing serious, just a small tremble. That's why the elevator stopped working. It'll halt in a situation like this. But unfortunately for us, the power whizzed out, so it didn't bring us to the nearest floor and just decided to keep us here. So in other words, it's pretty broken. But my friend is going to help us out. 
his sister is dating the landlord to the building, so he's got some pull on contacting them faster. Sure, of course you can stay in my arms longer if you want to. Of course I don't mind. Trust me, I don't think any less of you because you're scared. We all get scared sometimes. Yeah, even me. What am I afraid of? Do you want the honest answer or do you want the fake answer? Uh, I'm afraid of scaring people like you away. Because I think you're really cute. You have a bit of spark to you. A part of me recognized it. You know which part. I'd rather not overwhelm you. But if me putting my heart out there to help distract from that fear, I am more willing to make an ass out of myself. Wait, you're not immune to me either? I caught you in such a vulnerable moment. I'm not sure what you're saying. Uh huh. I think I see now. My growl turned you on, and you got embarrassed. Well, I'm deeply flattered. If I had known, I would have pulled you into my office and fixed the little problem I caused you. By doing what, you ask? Does my sweet baby want to know? Yeah? Hmm, let's see. I would have sat you down on my desk and kissed you nice and slow. Run my hands all over your sinful body. And then I would kick myself for not bringing you straight home with me. Because I would want to lay you down on something soft before I gave you a good scene to... That's what I would have done. Maybe if you're still hot for me after this. My place is upstairs. And I can finally get a taste of... Mm. 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 <sighs> Joey, you have the timing of an olive garden waiter. <sighs> nothing, nothing at all. Yeah, Bonehead, we're still in the elevator. Okay, that's good news at least. Okay, tell me when you have an update. Thank you. Thanks, Joey. Joey's downstairs with the repair guy. Apparently, he's fixed the things more times than he can count. He'll get us down in no time. Where were we? Oh. The Alpha was getting thirsty, huh? Such a smart mouth. Whatever should I do with it? Hmm. Mm. <sighs> well done, Joey. He will never let me live this one down. Mm. As tempting as it is to throw you over my shoulder and take you to my place, I gave my word that I would help my friend move into his new place. It's why I needed to come up here. The man doesn't have a toolbox, and I do. Oh, you like an alpha that stands by his word. Lucky me. But, after I've finished being a good friend... How about you swing by later, and I can give you what I promised? It's a date, then. Oh, and one more thing. When you walk out the elevator, make sure you slow walk so I can admire that juicy butt of yours. <laughs> You're cute when you blush. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. <laughs> 